The exit ramp at Southport Road, Southern Marion County, part of the final leg of what has long been expected to be a key economic driver in Indiana. I-69 finally linking Evansville and Indianapolis. It's getting closer to the finish line. So too is another major road project, the massive makeover of the North Split in downtown Indianapolis. That's where our Mary Rachel Redmond is now with some new developments. Mary Rachel. That's right, Gary. The old adage, no pain, no gain, can definitely be applied to the massive reconfiguration of one of the state's most heavily traveled stretches of interstate. Once this $350 million project is complete, drivers will see the pain was worth the gain. Joining me right now to talk about where the project stands as we head into the new year, Mike Smith, the commissioner of NDOT. Just to kind of start off, Mike, could you talk a little bit about where this project stands right now? Yeah, it seems like the uh, a poster child project for pandemic kind of issues. So um, we're making really good progress. What you can really see out there in the field is the project coming together. So uh, as we've shared recently, we're still on track for an opening of I-70 both ways. Uh, sometime on or before January 15th is the hope. Uh, if the weather cooperates, obviously, and then uh, we'll complete the I-65 opening, ho hopefully by the end of April. So when you talk about I the I-70 opening, can, can you clarify? 70 eastbound and westbound would be open, uh, like we said, our target's January 15th. Which doesn't seem all that far away, but, but, but there have been some delays. Yeah, I mean, just as other industries have faced over the last 18 months, really getting uh, supplies, parts, materials, keeping our equipment going, with the challenges that we've had has really been an issue and then the tightness of the labor market really um, it's competitive out there and so having just the bodies out there uh, to get the job done has been a challenge as well. You know this supply chain issue will it drive up the cost overall? Yeah I mean a, a project this complex really has uh, a lot of ebbs and flows in terms of the components that go into the job so certainly there are penalties if our contractors don't meet the mark and some incentive incentives if they deliver back to the public in a timely manner but Certainly, we're considering what price increases have uh, occurred as a re result of inflation and what the state's responsibility is to make the project a successful one. Now, when all the cones are gone, the, the, the road construction signs have been removed and everything is finished, what will be the, I guess, most obvious things for, for drivers once they can once again hit 65, hit 70? We'll be the crossroads of America again, right? So uh, this is a heavy freight corridor. We've got to get freight into the city, through the city, across our nation. And so that's what, uh, you know, that's what we're trying to accomplish with this, with this project. And then also uh, it will continue to have us allow our downtown Indianapolis area uh, to really be a shining beacon for economic development in the state. It kind of switching gears a little bit, another major project in the region, I-69 connecting Evansville to Indianapolis. Okay. Uh, you know, well into Marion County right now. Can you give us an update on that project? Yeah, so we opened the stretch from uh, basically through Martinsville up to 144 late last year. We'll actually shield that as true Interstate 69, so that continues to go well. And you're right, the focus will really turn uh, to Marion County, south side of Indianapolis, and that connection with 465 as we look to complete the I-69 corridor throughout the state. Mike Smith, thank you very much. The commissioner of NDOT, best of luck. Mid-January, the target date for I-70 to open here in Indianapolis. But wait, not so fast. You're going to see more orange cones. I-465 on the south side of Indy about to get a big makeover. And in southern Indiana, plans in the works for the Mid-States Corridor, a proposed $1 billion 50-mile highway enhancement project along US-231 that would impact 12 Hoosier counties. One of the main goals for the highway, to improve connectivity in the region for cities like Jasper and Ligoti to Indianapolis, Evansville, and Louisville.